uh, there are certain stocks that are going to get hit, and I don't think Roku should be bought. By the way, uh, I've had a fantastic run in AbbVie. That should be hit. They did not deliver. Uh, but it does have a good yield. Yep. We didn't get to uh, BMY this morning with the beat. They do trim the guide a little bit on Revlimid. Um, I know you're Look. watching the, the, the farmers. And Gilead as well had a beat. Jim. Yes, but the one that the one to watch is Lilly because the the weight loss reduction will be a, uh, people talking about a $17 billion drug out uh, six years from, seven years from now. What people are looking at adjustable market is wrong. There are a lot of drugs that people would take if it didn't put so much weight on. But you can make a cocktail of this of this new Lilly drug and a drug that puts on weight, and you can stabilize. And so a lot of people are going to take a lot of drugs uh, that they wouldn't take because they just get obese from the drug. And that's just fabulous. David Ricks came on our show yesterday. Uh, he's very Indiana-like, meaning he does not pound his chest. I would have, because that drug is a winner. And right now, it's a self-inject. Now, everyone may be scared. I self-inject a, a drug that similarly makes for migraine. Uh, it'll be a pill soon. When you self-inject, the only thing you have to do is close the door, because it's like no one wants to see you without your clothes on. <laughs> you know, I, I do it right here. It's over in 10 seconds. like, boom. And, you know, I don't even know I'm doing it. And one time, Regina Gilgan, my second producer, said, why are you closing the door for us? And boom. And I open the door again. <laughs> She's like, my eyes, my yeah, eyes. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's a, do you want to do self-injection? No, you'd rather take a pill. Exactly. But the idea that somehow, do you want to get fat or self-inject? All right? I'd rather self-inject and get fat. How about you? You, you, everyone <laughs> take agrees. A, take a poll. Everyone you agrees. No one, ever, no doctors ever said, you know what, you've got to get a little fatter. <laughs> yes. Jim, let's tackle Tesla. Uh, it's hanging in there after Elon Musk says no more sales oh, well, after selling great. about $4 billion. A um, lot of discussion about why he's selling so far in advance of a, a close. I thought that was good. Yes. Yeah, I mean, I've been trying to talk to a lot of people about what he's going to do technologically. Uh, not Remember, a lot, when you go on Twitter, there's a lot of people who regard him as if he's like a John Birch Society member. I, I don't care. I want better technology. Uh, they have fallen behind in tech. Uh, and when you look at what Mark Zuckerberg did in six weeks uh, with time, well, I shouldn't say it, in six months with, with Reels, and Reels will be ahead of TikTok by the end of the year, they need someone like Zuckerberg. Can I just say that Mark Zuckerberg, ever since they started giving a lot of money to small business and really helping small business, you know, he's off the radar screen as a bad guy. And maybe that's okay. Maybe that's okay. You mean the heat's off because Elon has arrived into the social media world? Well, also the heat's off because Zuckerberg has said, you know what, um, I'm going to do the metaverse, and what we're going to do first is teach. Uh, I'm going to use the Instagram platform to be able to help small business, and we're going to give small business money. I mean, they pivoted. They pivoted to, I mean, and by the way, Vlad Tenev should listen, too. When you're just a technologist, you must pivot to be more than that these days.